observe or celebrate Passover? Filipino? No. no. Chinese? No. New Year or festival. Only the Jewish people who, fight, who, who celebrate the Passover to remember how God uh, saved them from, uh, from Egypt, right? So, that's why I can conclude because of this three information, a Jewish town and a lot of people from observe uh, Passover and follow Jesus. So, what do you want to say? Never mind if you don't know. I don't <laughs> say it now. Okay, look at the second location. The second um, miracle, according to Matthew 15 and Mark 8, the miracle of feeding 4,000 happened on a hill facing to the sea of the Mackey. There's a place. No name. You, you, you have no, no clue. So what I want to say, before Jesus performed this miracle, Jesus was in time and frightened. Those two foreign or Gentile time. Who were Jesus Heal a daughter from a Canaanite woman. Do you remember this story? Yeah. Because of this, a lot of people follow from this to town to Escapolis. Escapolis is not a, a city, it's a district. It means 10 towns. That's a more politan from two words. So, Eka, 10 polis, towns. So, now you may know what. Pastor Rex want to say. Yes, okay, yes, yes. last four minutes. If you don't follow, never mind. Now you listen to this little <laughs> conclusion. I will conclude that the first miracle, 5,000 was being fed because the follower are Jews. Jesus saw the Jews had the need. They, he fed them. The second miracle, most of the multitude or the crown are from Gentile from Greek towns, they are Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Jesus also saw the need of the yeah, Gentiles. Mm -hmm. That's why he do the similar thing, not because it is uh, too much time to, to spend, just do one more time, no. This is the why the Bible said the miracle or mystery. I will read, why don't we read together? This is a conclusion of these two, two miracles performed, the reason behind. One, two, three. For he is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down the divided wall of hostility, by abolishing in the flesh the law of commandments and ordinances, that might create himself one in mind in place of the two, so that he and might reconcile us both to God in one body to the cross, Thereby bring the hostility to an end. end. I hope the circle will correctly fall. The circle is supposed to be here. After from the PC to Apple, the Apple changed to orange. So I want to tell you. <laughs> one. God makes something become one. one. God a two party to come one. One, one you. God bring all the two into one, one body. body. This is the conclusion. The, the Jews is one part of the human that God wants to save. The Gentile is another group of people Jesus Christ wants to save. And they want to put these two into one, as one body. We are the church. So this is a one, conclusion of why Jesus did the, the two miracles. Because he wants to show us. God and really in the heart and to bring the two groups, the Jews, the non-Jews, Gentiles, one Gentiles, become one church that we are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why God did this miracle of Christ? Because he wants to show us. He loves all of us. Yes. Then the second question I will ask. Do you remember those stories? The two miracles after, after the, before the miracle start? Jesus asked them, 
Come, come, come. You give them to eat. You give them something to eat. You remember? Yes. yes. Lord invited them to join this miracle. Right? You remember the story? Oh. Let me see. Where did I go? I forgot which page. I forgot to put the pages. Okay. Now I got it. <laughs> so, Jesus asked them, you feed them. Do you remember if you read the I should bring back the previous, never mind. I, I assume you understand, remember the story. The story is like that. When Jesus know that we start already, Jesus um, know that the group is hungry. So they ask the, the uh, disciple come. You feed them, ask them to find some food. You remember? Yes. So why Jesus asked them to do this miracle with Jesus? You know, feeding 5,000 is not an easy job. Maybe feeding 4,000 is a, a little bit easier. You know, when Jesus asked them to, you give them food to eat in Matthew 14, 16, the Lord called the disciple to do something that seems impossible. But of course, the Lord Jesus knew that the disciple had limited abilities, right? But he still want to invite them to join. Why? Why Jesus have this invitation? In fact, I already saw in the in the PowerPoint, Jesus have a heart for the people. Jesus wants to share with them his heart, his vision. So Lord have mercy on everyone. However, you remember how did the disciple respond? There are three normal um Responses that the disciple respond to Jesus' question. The first one in uh, Matthew 15 uh, 33, they say, How can how can we get food in this wilderness? How can we get food from this wilderness? In some of the Tagalog uh, translation, they use deserto. What does deserto mean? Desert. Desert. So I look at the Bible tools, actually, it's not desert. Actually, it's like this. In the in the Israel, when they, when they say wilderness, it's something with little grass like this, not like Sahara, not those things. We are deceived by the Spanish translated Bible. So the settle is wrong. It should be something like that. Or something like that. You would not call it the settle. Yeah. Why do you what do you call? Not English. What do you translate? No, in <laughs> when I when I was in Romblen, I showed these pictures to my co-translator. What do you call this place? They said, no such place. No such word. Why? Because we are like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Philippines. Oh, we have lots of things. The land is covered by coconut tree. So we don't know how to call this place a uh, deserto. So I try to it's up, mountain. Uh, it's a good word for them. So I ask them. Whether, so what do you call a place if nobody wants to live there? They said, oh, nobody live. A place if no one lives. <laughs> so actually, they have no such word to describe. So I try very effort in order to translate this wilderness, because wilderness for them is mean, meaning not know this English word, nothing. So I finally, what did we translate? We translate a place where no, uh, lonely land where no one lives, a long phrase. <laughs> a place where no one lives, also lonely. So lonely place where no one lives. So translation is like that. That's why we take years time to learn the language. So, the second response is, when Jesus invited them, come, help them to help together to feed the 5,000 and 4,000. The second answer is, their response, avoid the problem. They say, this is a lonely place. Uh, English translation, lonely place. Instead of a desert or wilderness. And the day is now over. means very late. Or maybe it's 6 o'clock or something over. Send the cow away to go into village and buy food for themselves. 
Is it this is good response? Should be. You know why? Filipino or the old, old time people when they go for a trip, they will bring bao on, right? Yes. Bao on means like a, a lunch box or carry food. Lunch box. So when I was uh, in the Philippines, one time I made a trip to a, a mountain province, say eight hours bus bus drive. So after three hours, the bus stop in the road. Anything? The they pass. To buy something. Stop. To pee. So I wait for one hour, nothing happened. <laughs> Two hours, nothing happened. <laughs> then almost three hours, I go and ask my Filipino friend in the same bus, what happened? They said, oh, nothing happened. Just three kilometers ahead. Three kilometers ahead. There was a construction project. Somehow the engineer, they don't know why what happened. They calculate to put the explosive. They put it more than it in more than enough. Boom! Oh, see. And the, the hillside, the, the soil covered the the the, the, the road. Just like that. So three hours. Nothing happened. So you know how long it take. I don't tell you the how many hours, but at least they have to call a bulldozer from the another well, side of the hill yeah. bring up to the and clean up the soil. Mm -hmm. So after three hours, I saw a Filipino who used a uh, have a backpacking, brought out a pot, put the rice, mm -hmm. and then put the bottled water, water into it, and then go go along the the roadside to get the branches. Oh, yeah, branches. Cook, cook, cook. cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Filipinos are very smart. When they have yeah, their, yeah, survivor. Not like me. I bring only sky fricks. <laughs> sky fricks is a, a brand of biscuit. So when 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 the guys when the decide why they don't enough food for themselves is their problem. Send them away. It's very valid, very um, reasonable, right? Why? They supposed to bring enough food. Why they got enough? Not enough. Actually, according to the Bible, it tells something. Actually, maybe they only want to follow Jesus the first day. Jesus just uh, eat. heal them. People during the daytime and do a lot of ministry, pray for them. And evening, Jesus started to share the sermon about the kingdom of God. People say, good, good sermon. And then they told Jesus, anchor, anchor. So the second day they stay behind in the in the morning and uh, do the ministry, pray for the sick, heal the people, uh, cast out the demon. And the evening, Jesus did the same, preach the gospel kingdom. They say, good, good anchor. Because of the third day, according to the Bible, this is the third day. They run out of food. Yes. Not because they are not well prepared. They prepare, but not enough. That's why when Jesus saw this situation, they said, come on, let us feed them. Of course, the problem is they don't have enough food. Magadan is a small town. Opposite to Magadan is nowhere place. How can you buy food in a nowhere place like me in the Palette Pass? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. So this is the second responses. The third response is, maybe you are one of those, maybe. It's accurately calculated. According to John 6, 7, Philip. Philip said, 200 denarii would not buy enough bread for them. So when the old translation, they use denarii. What is denarii? Nobody knows. Actually, it's something like that. It's a kind of... Uh, it's a currency. Money. money currency. But we translate denarii de de as meaningless to the local London people. We have to translate how many pesos mm. or how many dollars. Yeah. So I find out one denarii is one day of a ordinary food. It's a one day wages of an ordinary man. So according to uh, Hong Kong law, we have basic uh, minimum wages. So about 300 per day. So one denaro is 300. You got a figure? 200 denaro 
200 days. How many? 60,000 Hong Kong dollars. 60,000 dollars. How many people in the first miracle? 5,000 men. Not including women and children. So if for some one man carry one wife, only only carry one wife, not second. <laughs> or one man carry, uh, bring his uh, daughter or son. Okay? If 5,000 people, each one bring one person along, 10,000. 6,000 Hong Kong dollars divided by 1,000, uh, 10,000 people. Everybody got how much? Put. Six dollars. Yeah. Can we go to the MTR in the top? They buy a phone? No. Or no. McDonald's? No. no. Not enough. Yeah. That's why Philip said, Philip, sorry, Jesus, I'm an accountant. I figured out there's about 10,000 people. Look at it. Even eight months, each 200 days of wages, we cannot buy enough food for them to, to feed them. So these three responses is very legitimate, very uh, normal, reasonable. reasonable. If you are, for example, if you are those in those times, you are one of the disciples, you may be answer Jesus with yeah. this answer. Okay. But Jesus is not happy with those answers. For example, look at the, the need of the world. We, we, are, we already commanded to do the great commandment, go preach the gospel around the world. Then we may say, Jesus, Jesus, we don't have enough budget. How can we do this? Jesus, Jesus, they are the Muslim, they are the Buddhist, their own why they choose the wrong God? Let them find their own God. <laughs> right? Yeah. Or Jesus, Jesus. Oh, take that. This is the wilderness. This is a place with the objective of the people who are so hearted, so hearted. No way to convert them. So we may choose to respond when Jesus asks you to join. Of course. I know that what the story follow happened. Jesus said the first question or first request, you give them something to eat, then three responses. Then Jesus didn't want them to just go away. Jesus keep on asking, how many? Go and find me. How many? Of course, you know the first story, you find out five fish. No, no. I know. So the first miracle, five loaves and two fish. The second is seven loaves and few, no, no number. Why? Do you know why Jesus asked them to do a, a research or do a uh, asking around how how many or how much? Because you want to. You know what? Three, if they don't know, there's nothing enough or nothing uh, enough to feed the five thousand. They will know that this is a miracle. If you find out, oh, everybody have still their own the last meal, they just don't want to share with Jesus. Then even though the miracle performed, you won't glory to God. So whenever we find out we have only little, and God did something miraculous for us, we will say good, good best to God. Okay. Jesus want them to take the responsibility. The same. Uh, to you. Jesus also wants you to calculate the cost. Find out how much you have. Jesus wants you, most important, participate with his glory. Because Jesus knows that by our own human effort, this uh, great commandment cannot be done. But if you join Jesus together, Jesus will do it yours, himself. He will bless you will perform, even make it excess. Wonderful, God. So now, I would like to share the, my last uh, application. I'm a Bible translator, you know? The application is, I'm the bread of life. The physical food feed you, you still will hungry again. But if you get something from Jesus, the bread of life, the word that spoken to you uh, spirit and life or giving life. That means if you have the spiritual food, which is the word of God, they will have
have a life last forever, everlasting life. Then I want to ask you, this information please bear in your mind. Now the world population is 7.8 billion. How many zero? I don't know. 7.8. Do you know how many languages are used in the world? Tagalog is one of language. English is another language. Brother, what language you speak your, in your hometown? Um, I speak uh, Lanzo. Lanzo. I speak Cantonese. No, I speak and Spanish. I speak Spanish. Spanish. Okay, and it's fine in this room. But do you know how many languages in the whole planet? You may not know, I tell you. Yeah. 7,360. Oh. <laughs> this figure hit my heart 30 years ago. Because so many different languages. Because then I asked the second language. Do all these people group, 7,360, have the mother tongue Bible? Of course not. You want to guess. How many languages, A, B, C, D, multiple choice? Only one answer is correct. Who, how many languages have the old and new, the complete Bible? If you answer correctly, no, no gift. <laughs> if you answer <laughs> wrong, no penalty. So little. Only 707. As lucky as you are. God bless your country. Give you the Bible. New and old. So, Apple. Move <laughs> <laughs> 7,360 7, languages, only seven and four languages of the complete Bible. Yeah, the right thing. That is. This is the exact computation. Pray for it. Look at it. 700 have complete Bible. New Testament part only, 1,551. One is Roman Nine. <laughs> Portion means one book. Gospel of Mark or Gospel of John, 1,160. That means 3,415 have some degree, different degree of scripture. So 7,316 minus this will be this one. That means around the world, 3,900 languages without a Bible or without a verse of Bible. However, within these 3,000, that's about 1,900, they, they can speak two languages. You know, some country, yeah. the people can speak multiple languages. If they are mother tongue, not have Bible, but the national language, they have the Bible. So we minus this portion. So that means at least 2014 language group in the world, they have definitely no way out to help them if you don't translate for them. Now you know why my topic, who will fit the last 2,000? I'm referring to this 2,000 language group. If you believe the word of God is the bread of life for eternity, we have to give them the food. Sorry, I didn't translate to English. You got it? <laughs> so pray for these 2,000 languages. Yeah. So I think Philippines still have a lot, not yet. Do you know Philippines have 185 languages? Yes. Good, you know. 185. We have a Tagalog, Cebuano, Ilocano, and uh, those are major languages, cover most of the population. But there's 180 languages. They cover the small island like London. Only 13,000. So, will you like join it. us together to pray for this 2000? <laughs> Who will be the one to take the responsibility? Not the disciple in the past with Jesus. It's the church. Yeah. It's the church. Through your prayer, through your sending missionary, through your supporting with the um, people who work in, on the field. It's, we cannot say, no, 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 this is not our responsibility. Their problem, let they let them solve themselves. No, God entrusts us, church. The last pattern of this mission, we have to do it together. May God help us. So I'm my word, my preaching will be ending here. But God, 
uh, Holy Spirit will continue to bless you. Trust that God will have some impact in our lives. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much. Today we are, we know that there are so many myths around the world. At least we know 2,000 languages. They have no word of God in them at the time. I pray that, Lord, this is our responsibility with you, Jesus. Together we can do it. Together we can make it. Because we believe that if you uh, want to come back, come back to the second coming, we need to preach the word around the world. If those people who never received the word of God, how can they know Jesus is our Savior? Father, I pray for River Grace International Church. Pray for that. So many brothers and sisters in this room, they will receive this uh, challenge, receive this calling to be part of the Bible translation ministry through prayer, through sending people, through financial uh, support. Father, we wish one day we will see this 2,000 people group. They will have word of God. Mm -hmm. They have bread of life to feed their need. Mm -hmm. I pray all this. In the name of our mighty Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.